Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, here's a male trying to help old Perch out. Let's see what it says. It says, uh, hello, quote, Perch, quote, comma. <laughs> or uh, there's this tone being established here in the beginning. I just want to put it out there. Uh, frequently you seem confused why people give you crap for your opinions that seem contradictory. I've got news for you. You are contradictory. You often say one thing, and then a few minutes later, say the opposite. Here's an example. You say that the new X-Men cartoon on Disney, on Disney Plus, on Disney Plus, is going to be awful. You believe it's bad. You say this because of, uh, you don't say why you believe it's bad. I did say why I believe it's bad. The animation looks awful. And Disney Plus has a terrible track record for this stuff right now. I, I think it will be bad. I, I did also the track record of any station kind of resurrecting a cartoon from uh, years ago and then trying to like bring it back out. I it just like like the there's a million reasons why, but uh, the, but it, it doesn't look good. Quality doesn't look good, and the track record is so far more you know misses than hits when it comes to this kind of thing. So that that's my bold crazy prediction. Anyway, um, you say you think it's going to be okay, but then you turn around and defend Disney and Marvel against Storm's haircut. Yes, it may be true that Storm had a mohawk in the comics, but what does it matter if that's true or not, if the show's going to be awful anyway? Don't, what? Don't you, don't you get it? Woke content is killing our culture and our comics right now. You're either with it or you're against it. And it doesn't really matter whether a fact is true or not if the end result is it's bad. This is why people hate you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, not listening anymore. Okay, well, you want to hear your letter with me. Um, thank you for that. Okay, so... It does matter if something is true or not. That's that's kind of I'm sorry, but that's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Like like this, I do not get this logic. I don't, and I know some of you subscribe to this, and I see it sometimes in the comments. It you don't get to just make up shit or tell lies, and they are lies. In order to prove a point, even if your point you know may be true for a different reason. So in this case, like the X Men cartoon, or like Marvel Com, or whatever it happens to be, um, the you know odds are the cartoon's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Yep, yeah, that's my prediction. Could be wrong. I will check it out when it comes out. If I am entranced by that first episode, I will come back on and say, "Yeah, I, uh, boy, I was wrong." I'll do it. I've done it before. But making up something. This controversy over Star Wars Mohawk is, is not a controversy. It just makes everybody involved look really stupid. Um, by the way, for what it's worth, I didn't see... When I commented on this article originally, I didn't see who wrote it. I realize that uh, creates an extra wrinkle to the whole story, but it doesn't really matter. It didn't matter to me. Storm Adam Mohawk in the comics. Storm Adam Mohawk going into the trial of Magneto. That was X Uncanny X-Men 200, where Magneto had the purple costume with the cape and the big M on it. Uh, it was tried in France, um, and you know, the, but by by appearances, it looks like we're getting that in the comic or in the the cartoon because Magneto's running around in his uh, purple suit. Maybe not. I, I don't know. Who knows what they're going to adapt? But it, but anyway, Storm having a mohawk, okay. You know, Magneto in that costume, okay. It checks out in the comics. It's just a fact. It's not a uh, emotional fact. It's not a you know, subjective fact. It's, it's, you know, it, it, it's just a fact. Um, saying, you know, he, this is, uh, an outrage. It denies the comics, but that doesn't mean the show is going to be magically good. I'll give you a different example. Uh, I read the latest issue of X-Men. This is the Jerry Duggan. It's crossing over with the fall of the house of X series that he's also writing. And, uh, this, this comic is terrible. Um, I, now, this is my opinion that it's terrible. So, you know, subjective opinion. 
But my reasoning is the X-Men are just randomly murdering people. Emma Frost, a bunch of kids she rec- she, she rescues, um, you know, Liana, Magic, uh, Kitty Pride is still killing people. And the comic is just hacky stupid. You know, Polaris shows up. It's like, ooh, why weren't you killed at the Gala? And Polaris is like, I was depressed, so I floated away. And it's like, ugh. Like, this is the worst writing. It is, it is Dogman level of intelligence, which feels like an insult to Dogman. It's, it just, it's dumb. It is just a dumb comic. Okay? Um, I, again, if, if it works for you, super. But I find that this book is insulting to anyone's intelligence who reads it. I find that it uh, completely disregards how the actual characters behave and have behaved for decades and decades and decades. If the conclusion of Fall of the House of X reveals that, yes, the X-Men are all plant people clones, and that's why they seem to have no soul and have no problem just murdering people and basically being the opposite of what they've been for many, many years. I hate this argument of like, if you you haven't read the X-Men, if you don't realize they are against bigotry. Yeah, I get that. Also, you haven't read the X-Men if you think they would just randomly go around just murdering people. And I'm tired of comics that have the characters like pulling up like, it's time to go kill some fascists. Uh, no, not, I mean, fuck, not even Captain America would say that. In the war against that, at Nazi fascists, he would go to battle with them, but he wouldn't randomly like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm super horny, I got this giant boner because I'm going to go kill some fascists today. Fuck yeah. Does that sound like Captain America? This sounds like some weirdo fantasy of the writer who is... I, I don't know, just just too high and or been on Twitter too much. It's terrible. However, and my friend might would say, however, this isn't a contradiction. It doesn't take away anything from what I just said. In the comic, uh, Magic and Kitty Pride hug. And uh, they haven't seen each other for a long time. Uh, both thought each other were dead. And, um, you know, they, they, they hug. And they reunite with Lockheed. And, uh, you know, they're, they're like, hey, it's good to see you and everything else. They do not make out. He probably doesn't phase a hand into uh, Magic's shirt. Magic doesn't immediately uh, say, time for me to go. That, let me just sink on down south here and check out what you got going on down there. None, none of that. There is not a hint of lesbianism. These two have been friends since early 80s. They're one of the OG friendships in comics. And yet, you go into Twitter, and it's like, Marvel promotes gay couple, lesbians, and, and they're showing this panel of the two of them. It's not true. It's not what happens in the comic. It's not what happens in the panel. I mean, here's the part that blows my mind, is the laziness. A lot of this, this shit is so much that they'll post the panel. When uh, people were going nuts about the, uh, the announcement, or the kind of the hint in uh, Women of Marvel that what Rogue and uh, Kitty Pride would be leading X-Men teams. There's these articles like, new X-Men teams will not have any men. And they have a panel, like a thumbnail of the panel. And in the panel is Gambit and Wolverine. Like, literally in the panel. Like, they're, they're there. Who, last I checked, are men. So, again, you could look at this X-Men comic and go, holy shit, it is stupid. It is a dumb comic. It is uh, ridiculous that this is where we are with this thing. It's bad writing. You do not need to take the extra step to say, and it's got gays in it. Because it didn't. I, I don't know. The Kitty Pride was maybe bisexual in Marauders because she got drunk and then kissed the woman giving her a tattoo that, and, and never really seemed to acknowledge that again, sort of. I Like, who, who the F knows? Okay? But definitely... De- and, you know, definitely there was no, like, Magic and Kitty are about to get it on. Now, you would be fair if you said, given everything that's happened, I mean, Betsy and Rachel, they decided to pair those up out of freaking nowhere. Um, but fine, if you're like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did make those two a couple. Yeah, okay, fair. Again, that's fair. That's fair. But there's a huge difference between saying, I wouldn't be surprised based on all this other shit that they would do this, and saying, they've done it. And here's the panel to prove it, except the panel does not prove it. That's the part that that irks me, is you have perfectly legitimate tons of reasons why something might be crappy, but in order to get that extra SEO or extra attention, we're going to slap woke and gay on it 
And uh, we're going to use a little, you know, overused gift from South Park, put a chick in it and make it gay. And therefore, we're going to just dial in a bunch of rubes who, you know, for whatever reason, can't wrap their heads around. This comic just sucks. And I didn't think the X-Men ran around just randomly killing people. Instead, we're going to try and trick people. But but it's the dumbest trick, because if you can read or even in the case of that, uh, the new X-Men team will have no men on it, like use eyes. You don't even have to read words. Um, I, I don't know. I saw somebody defend it. I was, I, a couple of people, but me pointed out like there's, there's literally men in the panel here. It's like, well, how do you know Marvel's not going to trans them? I'm like, I, it's okay. That again, this may be something you believe may happen, but the fuck. I, I mean, it just gets silly at some point. All of this stuff just gets just comical because, and, and pointless because you have plenty of evidence that something is bad. But going to go ahead and, you know, just going to go ahead and invent stuff, which it's this, if you're in an argument, and I don't know why this is a, uh, such a, you know, a surprise or, a, a, you know, a, a stunning thought. If you're in an argument with somebody, you want to win. You want to win that argument. A good way that you can lose that argument is if you have the moral high ground, you have the, the facts on your side, but you decide to go ahead and invent and just lie really terrible, like lies, like, like when I say terrible, I don't mean morally. I mean, just you have all the facts you need to prove your case and you decide to, you know, go ahead and toss in some things that are insane. That's the part that, um, is pointless. Anyway, uh, ap apologies to the letter writer. Um, I hope, uh, I do hope you find a show you like. I'm, I'm sure you will. And, uh, and I hope they don't stick a chick in it and make her gay. Just for you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.